I told my dad not to buy silver. Three lessons from this silver squeeze silliness. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. Yeah, I told my 88-year-old dad not to buy silver last Sunday. He and my mom called me up and said, Son, we want to buy silver and gold. Can you help us out? I said, well, Mom, Dad, are you a member of the Yankee Stacking YouTube channel? No, <laughs> no of course I didn't say that. I said, I'd love to help you. Um, but you need to understand what's going on. And they had no idea. They didn't know what the markets were doing, what spot price was, the retail shortage that we were experiencing, the premiums that went way up. No clue. And that's fine. But after I talked with them, I realized that there were some important lessons, three that came to mind right away from this week's silliness that I think you really need to hear. Both my dad and my mom were expressing real concern over preserving what they have uh, with a small nest egg. I mean, they're not rich. They don't have a lot of means. They're on a fixed income. Um, they're just trying to hedge just a piece of their wealth, help protect themselves from the coming inflation. And by the way, my mom, who is phenomenal with numbers, very wise woman, did a great job when I was a kid handling our finances and living within our means, saving for a rainy day. I learned a lot uh, from my mom how to actually establish a budget. Okay, she, she was the one that did it. So she was saying, Son, I don't care about those CPI numbers or whatever you call them. I, no, I go to a grocery store. I see what's happening with shrinkflation, with just the overall cost of building materials and other things for their home. She knows. We all know. So she got it. All right. And I love that they want to increase their holdings of silver and gold. But again, I told them don't do it. Okay. In fact, I told him, I said, you'd be hard pressed to find any. And even if you did, you're going to be paying insane prices. I said, don't do it. This was not the right time to jump in with a substantial outlay of cash. Of course, we strategized on what, you know, what they should do. My dad and I talked about, you know, what the right ratio of silver to gold is for him to buy you know, uh, when to buy it, how to buy it, all that stuff. But those three things after I hung up really stuck with me. And I want to share them with you right now. So the first thing is when silver and gold go to the moon, it's not going to be because of some, you know, renegade group that's trying to disrupt the markets with a cause, you know trying to stop the big boys who are shorting something. It's not going to be that. Large institutional investment is the only thing that is going to break the COMEX short charade. It will be what really causes an epic short squeeze. And it's going to be epic because the silver market is insanely manipulated and incredibly shorted. But in my opinion, the illegal naked shorting of silver, the manipulation is going to end when the confidence in the dollar is destroyed. When we see the result of our rabid money printing, when it creates a tidal wave of Main Street inflation, when the Fed loses control of interest rates, we will have a crisis unlike anything we've ever witnessed before. And here's the kicker, guys. It will be industrial users of silver that causes this to pop. Industrial companies that make use of silver, and they use a lot of it. With our just-in-time inventories, they need it right away, or they're out of business. They are going to demand delivery of those big, fat, 1,000-ounce bars. And the COMEX is not going to be able to deliver. It will fail. And it will expose 
exactly what's going on. It It's not going to be us, okay? <laughs> it's not going to be, you know, Yankee buying tubes of Canadian Maple Leafs or American Silver Eagles. It's not going to be you doing it, okay? It won't be retail demand that pushes this stuff through the roof. And by the way, I just have to say this too. What? What caused the smackdown in silver spot prices right after we saw it go way up on Monday? What happened? What was it all those, you know, weekend warriors at my LCS dealer suddenly running back in to sell all the physical silver they had bought on the weekend? No way. It's not the small retail investors like us. It's the big boys, okay? that need silver or their business shuts down. Whether it's for uh, you know electric cars, uh, you know, solar panels, all the other industrial uses of silver, which are huge. That is what will start the collapse. And then when that starts, institutional investment houses are gonna wake up, they're gonna follow the panic they're seeing and start investing hard in this stuff, silver and gold. But you see, silver silver is more than just an industrial metal. It's also an investment item. It's money, real money, okay? No other commodity has that type of mix, that profile. It's very unique in that regard. So when all that happens, okay, it's going to bring the eight or so insiders who are shorting silver to their knees, all right, so that's the first thing that I was thinking about after all this craziness. The second thing, and, and, this, and this never ceases to amaze me, folks, but it's how the masses chase a frenzy, how people panic. They, they run after what is hot, what's trending, what, what, what has all the momentum. In fact, here's an example of a message I received during the hype of the insanity. Yankee, I just started stacking like a month ago and have only acquired seven coins so far. And now everywhere is out of stock. For the people that are new to stacking, do you think we'll have a chance to buy more silver soon? I wish I knew about this a long time ago. And I did spend a good amount on premiums. I panic bought because I'm so late to silver stacking community. I don't know. I'm assuming I'll make money back when SHTF and the dollar is no longer worth squat. I love that for a lot of reasons. One is that they started stacking a month, months ago, or a month ago, I should say. And, and while they've only or had only acquired seven coins, that's pretty good. you know. And I hope this wakes people up to the value of physical precious metals. I think it will. I really do. I think we, we've reached a, a slight turning point with the awareness of stacking. But this person says, do you think we'll have a chance to buy more silver soon? I do. I don't think silver is going to be unattainable in the near future. I think it's going to happen, and I've said this several times, but I believe it could happen this decade. That still gives us plenty of time. So don't panic stack. The best time to stack is when silver and gold is unknown, unloved, yet slowly rising. And that is what precious metals have been doing for the past two years. You shouldn't be mobbing your local coin shop or online bullion dealer during a frenzy. You should be going in when you're the only one in there and go online when there's plenty of stock and premiums are not totally insane. <laughs> Definitely not when the spread between the ask and the bid is the dollar. That's insane. So anyways, that's the second thing. The third thing that I wanted to leave you with, when you go buy your silver and gold, do it in stages. Do it in lots. Do it gradually. Do it in tranches. All right. That's the fancy word for doing it in batches. Okay. Don't just dive in and do it all at once. So my dad was like, you know, son, I have X amount of money. All right. And we talked about what to buy. I said, 
But dad, let's not just go and buy it all at once. Let's watch it and do it in, in chunks, right? So we'll do a bit and then we'll do a little bit more and a little bit more. We'll do it over some time, especially as prices come down. Spot price comes down and inventories start to rebound again. And believe me, they're going to rebound very soon. Buy your precious metals carefully, in stages. Budget some money and stick to it. That's my advice. So those are the three things, folks, that I think we can learn from this past week of craziness. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe if you haven't. And as always, I hope your day is a-okay.